Hello guys, today I am going to show you 5 proven steps to start as a digital marketer. I hope you have seen my previous video. If you have not checked, please go back and check my previous video to learn digital marketing completely for free. I have mentioned 5 websites where you can learn the digital marketing courses absolutely for free and get certification. You can watch the video and come back to watch this video to relate what I am talking about. So without further delay, let's get back to the video. Hello guys, this is Shailaja. Let's start the video. hope you completed the digital marketing course now what next many of the beginners they don't know where to start from so these are the five steps it can help you watch this video till end I'm gonna tell you why these five steps are mandatory to start as a beginner step number one please go ahead and create your social media account it could be Facebook Instagram Twitter LinkedIn YouTube or any other platform but make sure you create a social media account Number two, add your service details in the bio section. It could be in any platform. If it is Instagram, you do have a bio section. Facebook, you have a bio section. Today, let me tell you uh, an example about Facebook platform. You can go ahead and create any platform you, which you are comfortable. So let me take an example of Facebook today. So first, go ahead and create a Facebook account. Second step, go ahead and create a bio section which talks about your skills and how you can help your clients. Number three is at least make five friends and create one post every day. Number four is join particular groups which is relevant to your skills and industry or niche. Number five, engage and reply to at least five to ten posts in the group. Now let me tell you why it is important to do these points. First point is by creating the social media account, you are telling the people, you are telling across the world, you are telling across the globe that you so and so person is existing and you do have XYZ skill which can help XYZ problem to your clients. Number two adding bio section helps very clearly before even landing on your profile people can see and understand what is this person doing it what skills they have and how can how can they solve my problems. So without wasting their time and your time they can realize are you the right person to reach out for their particular problems. Creating friends, you cannot build your profile over a night. So it, it takes everyday activities. So by creating five friends every day, your account does not look suspicious. Because when you do massive friends requests, when you send massive messages, when you do any kind of activity massively, Facebook thinks it is some kind of a suspicious activity and there are chances it might throw a warning or it might disable your account. So taking small steps and doing it with minimal but doing it continuously every day is what gonna help you to grow your any kind of a social media account. So creating every day, sending a friend request for 5 or maximum 10 people every day will not harm your account and you can also gradually see if you make 10 friends every day by end of 30th day you will see 300 friends. So gradually if you continue to do, maybe you can gradually increase the number of friends. So your friend list grows but not only by sending the request you might also get some of the people sending requests to you. So in that way you can also make some of the friends more than 10 per day. Number three, why to create the post every day? You must be wondering what kind of a post I should post every day. Do not worry about posting too much of valuable content. It's okay, you post about your experience, what you learned, how difficult it was, what's your goal for today, what's your goal for next week, maybe. You put across so many thoughts, so many struggles, so many challenges. You can put across what is your struggle, why you started this, what's your goal for today, what are the tasks you completed for today, what you wanted to achieve in next one month, what are the tools you are exploring, how is your experience going on or maybe you can ask some sort of questions or maybe you can provide some sort of solutions. So these are the content ideas you can create it for every day but make sure you at least post one post every day for next 30 days. Maybe you need not to do this for longer days but at least as a beginner it's good to start so that you get more attention on your profile and people can see who is this person, people can trust you, people can understand what you are doing. Fourth point is joining the Facebook group communities. Now these are the places where people are actually helping each other, People, you can find the clients, you can ask questions, take help, all these activities happens inside these groups. You need to identify the relevant group which is suitable for your niche and industry. So where your client is also there and you are also there, you can meet, you can meet in a mutual community. 
remember to follow the community guidelines like the group guidelines before even posting any content. Why you should join the groups? Joining groups can attract not only the domestic client but majorly international clients because group has access to every country people. You have a higher chances of getting a lot of international clients. That's how I keep getting my international clients. So if you are a digital marketer, I can give some of the examples like you can search for the groups with the names of entrepreneur, digital marketer, freelancer, social media marketing. So similar kind of keywords you can search and it will give you suggestions of the groups. You can join and wait for their answers like wait for them to allow inside, wait for the admin to allow inside the group. You have to post according to following their guidelines. Number five points is reply at least five to ten content every day. Like if you are part of a group, you see somebody is asking a question but you think that it is something you can answer it, go ahead and answer it. Or at least you try to like somebody's comment, try to appreciate, congratulate, they would have done some sort of achievements, congratulate or help or answer some query or you can also question or you can also support. So give some sort of engagement to the post like reacting to their post or commenting and replying to their post. Your post, sometimes your post can help your potential audience how you can help them. That's why you should keep posting and someone will be keep watching you every day. Why you should reply to people's comment? When you reply, automatically people come back and see that who is the person reply to this. You are getting some eyeballs to your profile and people can understand this person has some skills and potential so that they can help on such and such queries or skills and they believe that you are the expert in this field some people might come and ask for the help when people watch your profile automatically they, they will also start engaging with your profile because what you give is what you're gonna get if you like someone's post even the other person also might like your post so in that way you're also creating some sort of a uh, engagement on your own profile Facebook, when Facebook observes some sort of engagements happening lot of activities happening in your profile it's gonna kick off the algorithm by default it's gonna suggest your profile to many other people who are similar to engaging with your profile like maybe your potential audience too the, the important thing is you need to do all these activity minimum at least for 15 days you will get to see a lot of attention towards your profile and at least you will get to see so many queries coming up to you asking like what you do how you can help them and at least to see how they can work with you i know these are not something new you could have seen a lot of videos about the same topic i really wanted to highlight the importance of why it is so important to have a profile in a right way and what are the groups to join and what are the activities to be done as a beginner because you would you will not see these kind of a steps followed by experts or experienced people who are into like more than two three years in the industry but as a beginner it is very important to follow these steps to attract because many people think that i don't have a client i don't have experience how can i start i have a skills i learned the digital marketing but how do i get the clients how do i attract the people how do i offer my services so before even thinking into that level do these basic steps by default you will start getting the clients without even you th you might be thinking it's going to take a lot of time but before even you realizing it you might land up a client within this 10 to 15 days i can assure you that much please implement these steps and let me know how it worked for you i'm going to see you in my next video thank you so much